I will also very quickly uh, touch on um, on the issue of what happened in Delta State uh, last week and the position of the Delta State governor. The Delta State governor is now the, the new uh, chairman of the South-South uh, um, Governors Forum, which are Bielsa, Akwaibom, Delta State, Cross River State, Edo State, and Rivers. The, the Yorubas have a matekun, and they know why they eventually had to do that to safeguard uh, their people. Um, the the middle belt are uh, are thinking and coming up with their own. The Ndibo are thinking and coming up with their own, and that is why the United Delta Self Determination Movement also wrote a letter last week to the chairman of the South South Governors Forum and copied all the other remaining governors. So the uh, Governor Diri of Bayelsa, go, uh, Governor Inson Wike of River State, uh, Emmanuel Ludom of Akwaibon uh, State, uh, Ben Yadi of um, um, Cross River State, and uh, Obaseki of, um, of Edo State. It is not written to them on political party basis. It is written to them on the basis of uh, the six states that make up this region and uh, the security of the people that make up this um, uh, this this region the the delta state people before this time there have been a lot of um, a lot of attacks um, against the people in their farms by um, by the killer headsmen and it has been going on for years but I believe that this one that happened last week was the one that made uh, Governor Kowa to once again speak up because this is not the first time Governor Kowa has spoken up. When the new commissioner of police last year, I don't know if they changed that one or not, came to Delta State, there was a security meeting that was held and it had to do with that Ueli um, area where um, it was claimed and confirmed I heard the governor say that there are certain areas where before the people could go to their farms that they were being charged um, a, a kind of a tax to, uh, to enter their, uh, their own farm in their own community, in their, in their own state. I found that hard to, uh, to believe, but the reality is that um, it happened because uh, the governor himself said so. And if the governor says something like that publicly, I um, I am more inclined to believe him than uh, than dis uh, disbelieve him. So um, that letter is stating categorically that we the uh, the people of the Niger Delta region, because these governors and the lawmakers, uh, the state uh, assembly members, uh, the senators have accepted that we, the people of the Niger Delta, of the six states, voted for them. Therefore, if we voted for them, then we have a right to expect certain things from them. And the security of life and property and the region is one of those uh, uh, things, among so many things, that we expect uh, for them to deliver uh, to us as dividends not only dividends of democracy, but as a right, because that is the primary function of, um, of government. And so um, this letter was written and sent out um, on the 20th, and, and we have documentation to prove that these letters have gone out to the Niger Delta uh, state uh, governors, or if you like, the South-South uh, state uh, governors. And so far, there is no um, response, either by phone call or, or by return letter. We mailed ours by DHL. And so we can prove that we've mailed these letters to all the six, um, all the six governors. 
we're going to do a follow-up letter to the governors and if we don't, if the organization does not get a response from the governors, we will take it that the governors have disregarded, um, have disregarded us and if that be the case then um, we will uh, definitely take it uh, further, we will take it to, uh, to the next stage we will come back to the people and ask if they think, because if the, uh, the Yorubas have a mateko, uh, middle belt people are doing their own, South East are discussing their own, this is no longer a secret. The governors cannot tell us that they are doing secret meeting. We don't want secret meeting. We want the governors to come together as governors of this region and call a meeting of the traditional rulers, and it is not only when they want uh, uh, votes that they should interact with traditional rulers and the people, and call the youths, call the women, call the stakeholders of the states, and the businessmen of the states, and come to a decision on the issue of protection, on the issue of um, protecting the people and the state that they govern because the governors are contributing immensely to uh, to the funding of uh, of security in uh, in their states and it really shouldn't be like that if the federal government says that it is solely responsible for security and the governor cannot tell the commissioner of police what to do without the commissioner of police getting confirmation from the inspector general of police then um, uh, we will call on the uh, we will call on our people to know that we believe the money and uh, the funding and the equipment that is being given to the uh, to the arm of the law whether it's police or navy or whatever of our money that is being given to them we will consider it a waste that the government is wasting our funds when they fund uh, the Nigerian police that they don't have any, uh, that they cannot tell what what to do. We should work with the police. The governors should be able to work with the police. The the people should be safe. Should feel safe to uh, to work with the um, with the police. We should not take this thing, uh, uh, the issue of insecurity, uh, lightly at all in the Niger Delta. Make it clear to the traditional rulers in the different um, local government areas of the different uh, ethnic nationalities that make up the Niger Delta in the six states and particularly in River State, uh, the need for us to um, feel that we are safe, for us to know that we are safe, for us to know that the government is doing um, what is expected of, um, of them. For us to take the security of our states, of our local government, of our land, of our resources, of our people, our women, our children, uh, we should not take it lightly. And the governors should not, um, should not take our security lightly either. No, thank you very much for tuning in and listening. And um, I look forward to interacting, um, interacting with you again. And um, God bless you. Have a wonderful uh, week.